Hi there, my name is Barry Salzman. I'm a photographer currently preparing for a show in Cape Town called The Other Side of Christmas, an outsider's critique of the American dream. It really started as just an open-ended road trip across the southern United States. So I did this road trip through the South and I shot just before the American midterm elections in 2014 and I shot until Christmas. And a lot of the photographs had Christmas references in, either garden ornaments or you know, decorations in shops or people's homes or the street. And I sort of chose the title because I think for me it talks to the alternative to the media sort of represented sense of the holidays being festive and jolly and happy. And you know, for the, the realities for the majority of people, that time of year is incredibly challenging. And so I think of the work almost as a critique of the American dream. And the reality is, idea of the American dream is something that's held onto and perpetuated by the non-American. But the American dream is not the reality for most people in the United States. And so I think that's what the work is really intended to do, to get people to question a little bit the, the axiom of the neighbor's lawn is better than my lawn. But the reality is usually it's not greener. I've been really more excited about using the camera in more abstract ways that are less literal. And I'm loving that process of exploration. So in this particular landscape, it was shot in Poland, right on the specific GPS coordinates of a mass grave. And a man who um, was lined up to be shot in front of a pit, but immediately in front of him were his two children. And he saw his children shot in the back of their head and fall into this pit. And he became so frenzied and he ran. But he ran in this frenetic um, way, you know, left and right and going nowhere in particular. And I sort of thought about this man and this experience and I took my camera on a slow shutter speed. And as I pushed the, the, the shutter, I shook the camera violently. And that was the result of this picture. So it looks like um, multiple different exposures because of the lines running through. It's like multimedia with, with paint streaking on the top and the bottom, the leaves are very focused. But it's all one shot, all done in camera by shaking the camera like violently with the shutter open as I imagined this man frenetically trying to figure out which, which way to go. And in fact, I think it's probably the single photograph that best articulates what I've been trying to do with the abstract landscapes. Last year, um, I submitted some work that I had shot in Rwanda um, that dealt with the Rwandan genocide. The project called uh, The Day I Became Another Genocide Victim, it's the series of clothes of the Rwandan genocide. And there are a hundred in the series. Um, and the reason that I chose a hundred is because there was a story I was told by a survivor and the way she survived was by pretending to be dead lying under a pile of bloodied bodies and she froze dead still and she could hear the murderers talking and the one said to the other I just need one more and I'll have a hundred. I feel like if you have a visual sensibility but you don't have a mechanical you, you know you can't paint or sculpt or draw Photography is a sort of technologically enabled toolkit which enables you to communicate visually without having sort of artisan skill set.